CHI Health System is reporting their highest number of COVID-19 hospitalizations since the start of the pandemic. 3 News Now reporter Ken Lutzen has more on why the increase in patients could change how the health care system operates. I don't believe that we've plateaued yet. According to Dr. Cliff Robertson, the demand for hospital beds will only increase over the next couple of weeks. This warning comes after CHI Health hit a new peak in the number of COVID-19 patients hospitalized in their system. Back in July, the end of July, July 27th, 28th, uh, around that time frame, we were actually down in the 50s. So over the last couple of months, it's been a, a slow and steady increase uh, to the point where we find ourselves today, this morning, uh, at 128 patients. Last week, yeah. Nebraska yeah. Governor yeah. Pete Ricketts announced new directed health measures to maintain hospital capacity in the state. Hospitals will have to maintain 10% of their staffed hospital beds and staffed ICU beds to be able to, as a cushion, to be able to handle coronavirus patients if they want to do elective surgeries. Nebraska's chief medical officer, Dr. Gary Anton, says some healthcare systems are on the borderline of this requirement. Hospitals in the CHI system might not be able to meet that ICU capacity. Dr. Robertson says CHI's capacity ebbs and flows hour by hour, adding canceling elective surgeries is a tool they may have to use to meet the governor's directed health measures. As of this moment, um, we don't believe we need to start, you know, stopping non-urgent procedures today, but tomorrow could be different. You know, next Monday could be different. According to Robertson, CHI has the physical capacity, but is working with four different companies to source traveling nurses. In Omaha, Kent Lutzen, 3 News Now.